Hello guys, I'd like to do a little video on a, on a neat project I have going on and hopefully it'll help some other people. I'm not a professional mechanic, but uh, I do enjoy keeping these old Mercury's running. I have one, two, three, four, I think five of these little Mark sixes, and uh, I only have two that are going because of the coils. And these Mercury coils from this era are getting really hard to find. And a lot of the times, when you find them, they look something like this. And you go to buy them, and they're about 120 bucks, $130 plus tax, plus shipping, and you need two of them. So you're left with, uh, you know, a basically $100 motor, and you need $300 worth of coils to keep it going. And it just doesn't make financial sense. So I was thinking in my head, why not take one of these generic OMC knockoff $8 Amazon special coils and try to rig it to the Mercury. And there's some limited information on how to do this. A lot of times you're going, you know, from different OMC motors or like a Gale or a Sea King, but, but no one ever talks about putting these into a Mercury ignition system. And I've been fiddling with this for a couple weeks and I actually got it to work. And I'll show you the spark at the end of the video. But uh, anyway, if you like the video, please subscribe. It's fun to um, know that people like watching my videos. But I'll, I'll go through the steps that I did to turn this motor into something that I can actually take out. Here's a, here's a shot of the new coil I have in place. And then I'll put the old coil in for reference. So this coil would you know, go in something like that. So you see there is, a, there is a difference. And this comes with a little machining and I'll show you what I did. So the first thing you have to do is when you get these in the mail is you have to take them off the laminate because obviously this laminate is not gonna work on the mercury laminate. Okay, so what I do, it's pretty simple, is I've just rigged up, this is my, um, my Duro press. I got wild turkey to help me. And I just stick it in between the wood like that. And then I press down on the handle. I guess I can move this up so you can see how it works. Move it like that, get it into place, and then slowly push down, and it's gonna, once I get it lined up here, it's gonna push that laminate out of your cheap coil. Let me just pull that the rest away. Well, in any event, once you, once you get it off, you end up with the, with the coil, with the uh, old OMC laminate. And this is, for the most part, a throwaway. You're not gonna use that anymore. So what you have, hang on, I gotta put the phone down for a minute. Okay, so what we have is our coil that has to fit on our mercury laminate. And if you, if you spec these out, you're going to see that Mercury's running about 0.51 and the OMC is running about uh, 0.44. So we have to shave this down. We have to shave this side and this side and the back side. I believe this goes down to four, three. So right now this, this opening is way too small. 
So what I do is I put this um, in my vise like this. And of course I lift it up a little. There we go. So I put it in the vise and I have my file and I just file it down. And in all honesty, it, it takes an hour or two and you gotta rest in between. But you just keep filing it down until you can uh, get this side uh, to mic out around 4.2 and you get the, or the top side 4.2 and I think the, the sides are 4.3. And then once you have that done, and you pretty much bring it back over to your little press. And I'm going to use the OMC one because the other one isn't ready yet. But just pretend this is my mercury, um, my mercury laminate that I filed down. So you basically just put that in there, and then you put this on here. And then you raise up the drill till it fits right in the cradle and you push. And that will push your cheap OMC laminate onto your mercury, um, your cheap coil onto your mercury laminate. Now there's one more thing that needs to be done on these to fit in the, in the mercury is you have to file down the, the in, inner square here because you need like every millimeter of length so i just very carefully will just file back and forth along here just take take a little bit of the material off and once you do that um, it seats seats real nice i mean it's real smooth and the, the sides go on perfect um, another thing is the on the mercury the spark plug wire would go on this side on these unfortunately they go on the other side so you have to route the wire through the original hole snake it around and do a pretty aggressive bend and what i did on that one is um, i took off a good chunk of this sleeving because you don't really need it and it just helped with my bend radius so i took off that and I ground down that a bit. Okay. And then you get it on there all the way and you see it's just a perfect little fit. Now, where I ran into some frustration is I was, I set, had this all set up. I, I set the point gaps. Um, I hooked up the condenser. This is your mercury condenser. I hooked up your condenser, brand new wire, um, a mercury plug and I spun it around and nothing. I may have got like the weakest spark, but really nothing. And I just couldn't understand because I'm, I had continuity between the coil and the end of the wire and everything looked good. Well, what, what you have to think of is you're changing this from a mercury ignition system to a OMC ignition system. So I took an old OMC condenser and hooked it up and threw away the mercury condenser, and I went and got an old plug from an old OMC, a little three-horse, 1961 three-horse Johnson, and, um, and lo and behold, she worked. So you need to match the cheap coil, the OMC coil, with the OMC condenser, with an OMC spark plug, and then it will spark. So let me get this on here to show you I'm not lying. Oh, it works in rehearsal. Let me figure out what I got going on here. I got my condenser in the way. Okay. All right. So 
Stick that on there like that. Got my handy starter nut. Another thing that that little that condenser for the OMC is much bigger, so I'm gonna have to find a, a home for that bigger condenser in the um, in the housing somewhere, which I don't think will be a big deal. So try to stick this on here. Okay, I'll do my best to show this for you. All right. Sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up. I think you saw it there. It was a little erratic because it was slipping off the ground, but uh, it's a good hot spark. So anyway, I hope that helps. I'm real excited about it because uh, I got a lot of Merc. I got this little Sarah Saratoga Blue. I have another Saratoga Blue. This is a 58, I believe. And then I have this one here. That's a that's a runner, but probably needs new coils. And I have that one on the right, um, needs new coils. It's not a runner. The run on, one on the left is a beautiful runner. I take that camping every year. And then my, my wizard, which is a Mark VI, just relabeled as a wizard. And that one does have new coils that I spend a lot of money on to get going. So anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.